Good evening, fellow collectors. Today is August 10th, Tuesday, I believe. Sorry, I've been watching a lot of Yankees baseball. And uh, this is my 107th video. Exposing forgers on eBay. Tonight, we are going to start with a favorite of mine. Chris Williams, Perch, 712. This guy has 2,000 plus feedbacks. Power Forger, okay? Let me just tell you a little bit about Mr. Chris Williams, AKA Tom Trash Trash. Calls all you buyers morons. His real name is Chris Williams. If you'd like to contact him, look him up. He lives in New Jersey in the basement of his mother's house. And he likes to talk about you morons a lot. I just want to tell you people, keep buying, keep selling, keep graphing. It's a great hobby. Guys like this Chris Williams run it. I actually sent this guy pictures of items I have personally collected from my own collection that I've seen, signed, witnessed. Sent him pictures. He told me they were forgeries. You know, this Chris Williams... Talks a lot of trash. So, like I said, we'd like to explore him because he says it's only possible to get a couple lifetime or a couple autographs from one person in a lifetime. But yet, this guy's got over 2,000 feedbacks. What's he doing? How many cheaters have you got, Mister? Okay. And if you're so good, why are you living in your mother's basement? Why don't you go get a job with James Spence Authentication, PSA DNA? Stat authentics, as you like to call it. It's all stat for you buyers out there is, is a generic COA from a buyer, which I would accept over that of James Fett's authentication. And let me tell you why. Larry Studebaker, you know who I'm talking about. For all you buyers out there, I'm going to educate you a little bit. JSA, head authenticator. Larry Studebaker. Just look it up, it's the Sal Bando story, where a woman reporter walks into a baseball card show, takes a Sal Bando card, wax it out, herself on camera, I don't even know if she was a good forger, and takes it in to James Spence, leading authenticator, and on camera he stickers. That's what's wrong with the hobby. Hobby is you send this, these guys real stuff, and they won't assert it. But you send them something fake, they got no problem backing it. Where's your real cre credibility here, James Spence? Who on your staff gets autographs? Please. Let LeBron know, okay? LeBron James, he doesn't sign autographs. So automatically anything that's up on LeBron right now that's not UDA, do we need him to tell us that? Absolutely not. LeBron, thanks for being such a nice guy, by the way, too. That's why we support you. Um, but so everybody out there whacking out LeBron James, keep whacking it out because he is not a nice man. And if you can profit off of him, feel free to do so. He is already making $13.6 million a year to play basketball. So I would like a little shout out to the A-Rod Corporation tonight for uh, ripping down A-Rods that are authentic. Thanks, good move to you guys, just because you want to profit off of his 600 home run and not let us go right ahead. But they call him a fraud. <laughs> and by the way, uh, Soviet official endorser of the heat. I'd like to give a shout out to Captain Jack, who is Perch 712's pet gecko. Okay, so we have talked about Chris Williams and uh, what he likes to do. We've talked about Larry Studebaker. Now let's talk about eBay. Yes, they don't care about buying and selling forgeries. They are profiting millions of dollars a day. PayPal is profiting. eBay is profiting. The forgers are profiting. The buyers are buying. What can you do? 
the real question here is, unless you get it signed yourself, don't collect it. Because who knows if it's real or not. But definitely do not take this guy's opinion. Because he sells forgeries. And he likes to tell on other people that sell forgeries in order to corner the market, I believe. Which is why I am doing this video. For the sole intentions of getting Perch 712 off of eBay. Chris Williams, that's his name. So for anybody that you have ever offended by calling them morons, stupid, etc., or maybe anything that you could have possibly done to their wives, please feel free to contact him. He lives in New Jersey in the basement in his mother's house. And uh, he's probably whacking out LeBron James as we speak right now. And uh, that's it. Check us out tomorrow night for video number 171. Maybe we'll be exposing you.